Arce just smothering Hussein's attack against the ropes. Series of right hands by Hussein. Good left uppercut by Arce. Once again, they trade down the stretch of the round. Mostly Mexican crowd wanted that to be called a knockdown, but referee Vic Dracula says no. Arce has some beautiful face before he punches. Face over like he's going to throw a left hook and change it to a left uppercut right at the end before it comes out. Very reminiscent of Roberto Duran. A bloody good fight. It's becoming a movie fight. <laughs> Hussein is landing some terrific punches inside. Hey, guys. It was supposed to be the main event that was going to be a classic. <laughs> it was the main event that was supposed to go into a time capsule, right? Just one spice here. Hold it. Hold it. What happened? Cross is all right. How do you feel, Hussey? Kill me. Kill me. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. good. Good boy. You're listening to me. Throw the uppercut when you're in close. Come on, the uppercut, the right uppercut is what she's gonna do for you. It's okay, I'm fine. No me va la cabeza. Don't move your head. And here you see Hussein landing that left uppercut, followed by a right hook, then a left hook, which all did beautiful damage to Jorge Arce, but Arce would not stop. That was a beautiful three-punch combination by Hussein. Let's go. Let's go. Bell sounds, and Hussein quite properly wanted to get across the ring and get at the opponent, and Vic Dracula held him back, giving Arce a chance to get up off the stool. Arce got a three or four second cushion there, somewhat like the cushion that Hussein got in round one to recover from the damage that Arce had exacted. And now, immediately, a removal of Sab from Arce's nose. Harold, how do you have it through six? Okay, Jim. 59, 55, five rounds to one, Jorge Arce. Jim, the sixth round was close, but I got to tell you, Arce definitely won in that last minute because I thought he hurt Hussein without question. Pac-Man Miguel Diaz is using Avatine on that cut, Jim, and it's probably the best step that there is. The problem is, is you got to use Vaseline over it to hold the Avatine in, and Vic Dracula made him take it off because they had too much Vaseline. Avatine is a coagulant that helps to stop the bleeding? Correct. I have it four rounds to two for our sake. So that's the drama. Jorge Arce seemingly leading in the fight, seemingly at some times headed toward a potential knockout, but now compromised badly enough by a cut on the bridge of his nose that it's possible Hussein can win the fight on cuts. Now, Jorge Arce doesn't look as confident as he did earlier for all of a sudden. And he's still eating uppercuts and he just tasted a big left hook. And a straight right hand by Hussein. Hussein is much more confident now than a round and a half ago. And Arce has begun to get a worried look on his face. Hussein would be careful though, because Arce still has brutal punching power. I thought I saw a little fatigue in the way Arce was throwing some punches. You did. Well, he throws a lot of punches. In the last round, he landed 31 out of 89. Hussein, 24 out of 71. The nose is bleeding real bad now, too. Very distracting. You can tell now that Arce is, in fact, necessarily distracted by the strong flow of blood down both sides of his nose. Again, below the eye level, though, so no effect on his vision. He, well, he's sort of pushing his punches now, isn't it? Yep. The fatigue is showing up. Could be getting a little weak from the blood flow, too, though. He's losing a lot of blood from that cut on the nose. That's a bad cut, and it's leaking pretty, pretty heavily right now. Break! Let's go. Hussein just should be smart in boxing, maybe get this fight stopped. Well, if he thought he was Mexico's most popular fighter before, 
A big win in this fight, looking the way he looks right now, would make him even more so. Uh, total through round seven. Arce landing 167 out of 548. Hussein 147 out of 455. Of their 314 total connects, about 300 of them are power shots. It's been a hard fight. Both guys. There seems to be a little confusion and almost panic in Arce's corner. I don't think they were counting on this kind of a tough, bloody fight. Nor were they counting on the left hook that Hussein just landed to put Arce totally on the defensive at the start of this round. Yeah, that's a big left hook by Hussein. That was his best punch of the fight. But not relax and get careless here, though. Arce with a good combination, a right, an uppercut, fires the left again. Any discouragement Jorge Arce feels is likely to be momentary. You can see that he's the kind of competitor who is determined not to let that cut nose lose the fight for him. Get the head up, let's go. He passed that head. Arce's punches have lost their steam. Yep. Big time. And Jose, see, Jose sees them coming and has been more proficient at blocking them. All of the power that so bedeviled Hussein in the early rounds has dissipated now. And he knows it as he steps in and takes over the role of aggressor. Oh, good shot. Good left hook. Bangs Arce back again. Jorge says, come on, I want to fight. <laughs> oh, hurt Hussein again. Yep, Arce gets some of his vim and vigor back. Hurt him with a body shot. That's what I meant when I said Hussein couldn't get careless because this guy's still a dangerous puncher. And he may have actually played a little possum to set that up. Let go. That's a hard left-hand shot to the chest. Hussein is now bleeding and taking a look at his own blood. And Arce jumps on top of him to try to take advantage. A deduction of a point from Hussein for holding, and that could turn out to be critical. And now Arce runs over and gets a chance to attack Hussein stationary in the corner. Hussein was responding with disappointment to Dracula's ruling. And